Alright, what's going on, guys? I've tried to uh, do a video both Monday and Tuesday this week, and uh, it is Wednesday right now. We have a 10 car load on that we are going to be taking to Gardendale, Glendale, Gardendale, Alabama. Uh, running a bunch of shorts this week. We did a uh, 9 car load on Monday, uh, but I had to get down here, so that kind of shoots that one. 10 car load yesterday. I really wanted to come over here and get another load on, but it just monsooned yesterday and slowed me down. So uh, hopefully today it's supposed to rain again, but hopefully I can get uh, this stuff delivered without uh, without all the uh, rain hitting again, and I can actually get a little bit of a video for you guys. I apologize for that. I appreciate all of y'all that watched and subscribed last week. Um, literally had my best video ever, um, on the channel in the first day, had like 1600 views in day one. And thank you guys for subscribing. I got 35 subscribers in the first day of that video. So I greatly appreciate it guys. You guys are killing it. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and head on up the road and, uh, and try to get this load delivered before the rain sets in and get a second load on today and start making our way up to Anniston and Rainbow City, Alabama. So that's what we got going on right now. Let's uh, let's get hustling and try to make some money, guys. So I'll sketch you guys in just a minute. Let's get some driving going. What's going on, guys? We just got up here to Gardendale, Kia. We are going to drop this load here. I did do something a little different on this run that I haven't tried before, but it ended up working out, and I'll explain why I did it in a second here. But, uh, yeah, this, this load came up pretty easily. It's another one where I only had two cars, and the rest are SUVs. So we'll just show you. This one right here, obviously... Uh, one of the new Sportages, K5 over K5 with a Sportage on the back. And you can tell I left this one flat and just tilted that one. We'll get to that in a second here. But the rest of the load is got the Telluride right here uh, with the K5 above it. And our space right here, which is fine because this just swings out with the truck. And you'll keep that space around most of your turns as long as you don't have any big... Uh, uh, what is it called? Big uh, dips getting in and out of parking lots. But back that one right up to the uh, Sorrento with another Sorrento on the back. Two more Sorrentos underneath. So obviously it's a fairly easy standard load that we've been doing lately. Um, the big thing that I tried, because I didn't like how close... Um, I could get this one down to height, but I ended up being closer than I like to be over that bumper. So I did a 10 car load yesterday, and when I was loading it, I thought I was going to try something different. So what I did, I ended up dropping one more hole on this back ramp. So I'm just one hole up from the bottom, and I closed my floppers, or the wheel pockets right here, which I would normally park down into. But what I did is I stayed on this front one, and you can see where I hooked in right here. But what that allowed me to do is it kept the rear of this car farther forward, which allowed me to bring this car down more behind the cab. So by doing that, it allowed me to bring this car down even more, so I'm not right there at the 13.6 button, and still had all that extra space behind or, or over the car so we're not getting close and risking any damages right here I did it did cause me to be a little bit taller 
Um, if I had another K5, I would have been able to get down a little bit more. But I also think flat loading this one also caused me to be a little bit taller. So this one right here is at 1310. That's as low as I could get it. But I had no low bridges. And getting up here, I wanted to get here. If you can't tell, we're getting closer to the storms rolling in. So uh, we, were, we were just hustling. I, tried to, I decided that I was just going to run with it. A little taller than I like to, but I knew where I was going. And uh, yeah, that's that. So we are going, I'm going to set this up so you guys can watch this thing get unloaded. And uh, I will see you guys in a couple minutes. We are running back down to load up again today. We got to get our second load on. And uh, that one is going to Rainbow City in Anniston, Alabama. So we are going to try to get those things on right away and get over to the hotel for the evening. Tomorrow morning we can run that up, get back, get another load on, get that delivered tomorrow, park empty. And Friday morning we are running back home. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Take a look at how this thing gets offloaded. Bye. All right, we just got done unloading that one. I just checked my uh, my phone, and apparently uh, they just upgraded my next load from a nine car to a ten car load. So we're gonna haul twenty cars today. We are uh, we're gonna knock it out. We still got uh, six hours and eighteen minutes left. I got three hours to get back down to uh, Kia. We're gonna go load up. I got fuel up first, and then go load up. And we might even be able to make it up to Rainbow City to get the first of those uh, two drops off. Fingers crossed we can get that uh, get that off up there and have an even shorter day tomorrow. Getting back, getting loaded, getting delivered, possibly even get reloaded for going home tomorrow. And I will park down in West Point and uh, spend the night, get up bright and early, and head back to East Tennessee. That is the goal, guys, but uh, we're going to hit the road, so I'll see you back over there at West Point. Good morning, guys. We were able last night to get this 10-car load on. Um, we got in before the rain hit, which was awesome. That was the uh, the goal was to be able to uh, to not get soaked again. So we loaded a grand total of 20 cars yesterday, loaded 10, delivered the 10 that you guys just saw, and then loaded this 10 that we're going to deliver this morning. I got 141 miles to get to the dealership, and we're going to run up there drop those this is a two stopper um so we're gonna get these dropped get right back down try to get another load on today get that delivered this evening and then get back so tomorrow morning we can load up one last load to head home for the weekend um i have my great grandparents or my grandparents are coming into town which is my kids great grandparents so we are going to take the bus on its first little maiden voyage i guess and uh 
We're going to take the kids to go camping. Hopefully they enjoy it now. They're calling for it to be quite cold this weekend. Possible snow in the evening, which is fantastic. So I guess we'll figure out if the heaters work real well in this bus. And uh, we'll have some big bonfires. But, uh, yeah, I want to give my kids time to hang out with their great-grandparents, get to know them. Um, we go down to Florida to see them. They come up through to see us type of thing. Um, and they're on their way back to New York to spend the summer up there with the rest of my family. But, guys, that's all I have to the next vlog. What we're going to do, um, I'm going to do kind of a year-end review, or not a year-end, but a two-year review of being here at United Road. It's going to go over all the things that I love about being here. Um, some of the things that I guess I wish they could do better, but all companies are going to have issues like that. We, nobody's going to be perfect. So we are going to go over why I'm here, what keeps me here, what keeps me from even looking at any other trucking companies out there. So if you guys are wondering about what it's like to be here, or you want to know if, uh, if it's worth you coming over, that'll be the vlog for you. Or if you're even just thinking about getting into car hauling, that'll be the vlog for you. It's going to go over what they do, what they offer um, with the insurances, how their loads are structured, things like that. But until then, guys, I love you. Please, as always, down in the links below is all the stuff you need to get a hold of me if you want to come over here. Um, also, the Robinhood app if you want to invest or the GetUpside app if you are looking for a credit card. Use that. That's the one I always use for uh, or the GetUpside app. That That is the one that uh, that is where you get your fuel. Uh, you get money back on every fuel purchase that you do. Um, obviously, we buy a lot of fuel out here, so use that one. That's a big one. And uh, the credit card that I use, which allows me to take my family on awesome vacations. Those points add up real quick, and that's how the five-minute shutdown just went off in my truck. Um, and that's how we, uh, we get to go to Disney and all those sort of things. So, guys, until next time, I love you. I'm out. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.